So today I'm going to show you all how I have a player switching system set up in Unity. So I can run around and control one guy, look in a direction, press a button, and then start controlling a different guy. Uh, if I'm not looking in any direction and I press the button, uh, it's going to switch to the guy closest to this ball right here. So let's get started. Uh, so we've got a team game object and player game objects. All the player game objects are children of the team game object. Uh, we have a team script and we have a player script. So those don't really do much on themselves. They're kind of middlemen for the script, the player switching script. First, let's look at the team component really quick. So the team component's got a list of team players and it grabs all of them in a wake. It just does that by grabbing all the children. Uh, that's why we made them children of the team component. I mean, game object. Um, we got a list. Now this list is a little deceiving. We're not really using it in a typical list fashion. We're using it to grab the current player. Uh, so that it's, it's more like a running list that we update constantly. Uh, and then on our player component, we've just got, we've got a method to turn on user brain. That it's really, all it does is set the user brain to be true or the user bool to be true and AI brain user bool to be false. Uh, my list that I was just talking about for the current player list is inserting at zero this player whenever the user brain takes place. Uh, we can ignore this. This is just clean up of the list. Make sure it doesn't get longer than two values. So if we go back to the player switching script, we will see on start, we're selecting a player on the start and that is selecting the, the guy closest to the ball. What it does is it uses a link statement to sort through uh, the team players and it orders them by the distance from the ball to them. Uh, and that's pretty much it. It gets, and then it takes the smallest distance and applies that user brain method that we were talking about. All right. And so here in the update, whenever we press a button and whenever we press the button and we are not using, we are not, there's no input on the left on the left joystick, then we're just going to switch to the player closest to the ball because there is no input direction. But if there is input on the left stick, then we're going to switch to the player in that direction. Let's look at these functions to see how they work. Uh, for the switch player closest to the ball, pretty much identical to how select player on start is. The only difference is whenever you switch player versus select player on start, uh, it's also taking the previous current player and giving it an AI brain. Uh, so that's why there's two different methods for that. All right, now where it gets a little, a little hairy is when we are, uh, when there is no input or when there is input on the left stick and, and we press the button. So uh, we do need this input direction and direction to method for this, uh, for the switch player in direction method. Uh, let's go over these real quick. So this is just finding the input direction that, that the user is currently giving relative to the camera. Um, it, so it doesn't matter where the camera is, it's going to give you the correct, uh, direction you're currently pointing to. Direction two just returns another vector three. It's going to give us a direction between two specific players that we feed it. The switch player in direction. So here it's sorting through the team players uh, where the team player is not the current player. And then, so it's basically taking everybody but the current player and ordering it by the angle of the input direction wherever we're pointing the left stick and each player in that list from the current player that may not have made sense but just trust me it works 
and that's pretty much it. So we can see that it's working. We can move, we can select the guy that we're currently looking in, direct, in the direction of. Uh, if we're not looking in any direction and we just press the button, it's gonna switch to the guy closest to the ball. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you would be so kind as to give me a like and a follow, that would really help me out with YouTube's algorithm. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. That's the end of the video. Um, yeah, duck bless.